Hello and welcome to Installing Chaos Linux, the first of many video tutorials demonstrating how fast and easy it is to install and configure Chaos Linux. Without further introduction, let's begin. First you'll want to have downloaded the latest release of Chaos NSA from chaoslinux.org and burnt it to a CD. Insert that into your optical drive and boot the system. You will be presented with the Chaos NSA welcome screen and a boot prompt. The basic options are Test, Auto Install, Demo, and Rescue. Test will verify that your system's hardware is compatible with Chaos Linux. Auto Install is a command to use to install Chaos NSA to your system. Demo will launch a temporary demonstration of Chaos NSA from RAM without installing it to the hard drive, and Rescue will start a rescue shell to repair a broken installation attempt or a damaged system. Auto Install is the command to use to make an automated installation. Note that this is a fully automatic install, meaning it will not prompt you with any verification or options to complete any steps. Installation options can be passed after the auto install command for settings such as disk, file system, and partition layout. Hostname or network settings are also passable at this point. Passing no additional boot options after auto install will install using all default values, and that is what we'll be using for this video demonstration. Cinch, the Chaos Installer, decompresses a kernel, scans and brings up your system's hardware, creating an install environment and memory, locating the install source and target medium, and takes care of partitioning the hard disk. Next, it installs the file system. Here we will skip ahead in time so you don't have to sit and watch the numbers climb. When the file system is done installing, Hardware configuration files are put in place, along with the bootloader. The kernel is configured to boot, encryption keys are created, and your system is now complete. The installation of Chaos NSA is now ready for further configuration and use. Press Enter to reboot the system and remove the ejected CD. Alternately, you can hold S and press Enter to enter a debug shell if needed. When your system reboots, you will be taken into the Sidekick configuration tool to do the final configurations of your freshly installed system. We will cover that in the next segment of the video.